Hey, what's up gamers? It's Dom here, back once again for some more Total War Three Kingdoms. Today we're going to be showcasing a uh, mod pack collection here for you guys, the legendary mod pack here. Of course, uh, as you guys find stuff for it, whether it be new mods or not, I'll keep this stuff updated for you guys. This one's going to focus more on Wu uh, King Dyson's, if I even said that right, and adding more legendary characters for some of the free battles here. It has stuff that you can do for... Um, the single player and multiplayer campaigns but i have another mod pack i will showcase just for that to make everything more unique looking uh even if the troops aren't showing up in like these custom battles i play a lot of multiplayer with some friendo bendos so it's nice to have more choices here um, but i will go down the mod list here before i kind of show off just a battle and some of the character models and how um i personally think they look pretty good there and how they fit into the uh, art style of the game so we have right here all the mods you guys will need 13 of them as of right now of course you can comment and help me out check in to see what uh you know could be added would be better also uh, in terms of the load order this is what i have works perfectly with no crashes yeah crashes right now but i don't know why i sound like crash when i said that but yeah uh if you guys do experience any crashes do tell me there i did have a um compatibility mod for Wu King Dyson's and um, the All Factions playable, but it was actually crashing my Zhengju campaign with the Yellow Turbans and the Mandate of Heaven DLC. Um, but after I removed it, I had no problems there. So let's go into the actual game now and see kind of what we got. All right, so now we have the actual game here booted up. I will uh, get rid of all of our clear our armies and our retinues and all that. So we can see we have some people adding. I have all the DLC people also, but let's go down to some of the people who aren't in here um, normally. So like Sal Aang, I believe this is the son of Sao Sao. My favorites here, Guan Ping, Guan Zhuo, and Guan Jing. I will pop them out here, and they're pretty cool. There are stuff for extended... Um, more units and all that but i focus more on like the legendary characters i think they really spice it up here when it comes to um the duels and whatnot which i'm a really big fan of let's see who else we have we got um lady Zhou yu we got um you know some more playable characters jiang wei long-term stuff for the game there i'm a big fan of i think it unlocked people like empress he should be here somewhere as we have Liu Ji, the child emperor. As he grows up, he'll change character models there. So there we go. And even some more stuff if you have the um, non-mod DLC. So we'll just pop down some people here. Zhang He props off to whoever made this. I think it's with Wu King Dyson's. Um, props off to them. They, they did him justice. They did him justice. They made him strong looking tough. You know a killer there um i'll put down liu ji just to kind of show you guys that he is he's a tank in here because he has just all he can recruit just everything so him himself is not that strong but just the fact that he can utilize all of uh the armies and like units there will be very very resourceful here and we'll use uh shao pai or if you're like me and you've played dynasty warriors your whole life they call him cow pee so let's start the battle and kind of check them out there. All right, and here we are loading into the game after 10 years because I have a dying hard drive. So I believe this one, is this Guan Ping? It's Guan Ping there. I believe he uh, died alongside his father, Guan Zhuo and Guan Jing. So even though they may still like look similar to their Dynasty Warriors um, characters there, they do justice with the Romance, not Romance, the uh, uh, Total War style. There was the ROTK style. And then on this side here, we have Zhang He, looking pretty cool there. We have Xiao Bai, who I can't really tell, um, look too different there, um, from, I guess, some, like, other models. I feel like I've seen that one before. Uh, and then we have the Emperor here, which is pretty cool looking. So we'll have them go at it and fight for a bit. All right. Let's see what type of uh, action we can get them into here. See if anyone wants to duel. Get a little bit closer, get a little bit closer, come on. I haven't, like, done any, uh, customizing there to, like, their, um, abilities. Kind of just threw them out there and seen what they can do. Where did the... Where did they go? How are they not visible? All right. 
Oh, he's dropping arrows on me. That's the thing. The Emperor, he's got a lot of... A lot, a lot of abilities there. Um, Zhang He and the Emperor and Xiao Pai, who will end up killing uh, Guan Jing, sadly, but we'll watch them battle here. A lot of battles going on here. I do know there is another mod, um, I don't have it in my mod list, but you can get it where these some of these legendary warriors here will pop up via an event, and they'll go to their respected factions as they did historically, but um, I kept it off there just to spice up the campaign a bit more to be like a bit of a surprise. Um, of course, people like Guan Ping, who are the sons, will appear when he with Guan Yu is, but um, someone like Zhang He uh, won't always make his way to Cao Cao there. There goes the Emperor. He's uh he's dead. Good job, Guan Zhuo. Good job there. One of my uh one of my favorites. I think the mod pack picture is actually Guan Ping though. I can't remember who I'd set it as there. And finally, as we end off here, we'll show you guys on the campaign map here. And that does open up more factions for you guys to play as here. So just a ton of options here, aside from just all the normal ones we have. So one of my uh, personal favorite ones to play as is about, I think, 194. Some of a little bit later. Um, where is he at? I think the Emperor was around here somewhere. But I like to play as um, him and kind of see if I can fix things and make sure they don't go crumbling down. I think it was actually in 182 there. But yeah, it even opens up some stuff for in 291 with the, um, what was it, the 8? empires or eight princes dlc there if you guys are a fan of that dlc i haven't got too much use out of that one there but other than that gamers that's gonna do it here for uh checking out this mod pack tell me what you guys think there i will be showcasing another one here more um to make everybody look unique even though it won't have as many legendary characters or as much of a focus on the uh, custom battles which is what primarily i use this mod pack for Keep it safe, everybody, during these times, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.